Hey my loves, welcome back to Ravina at Home. I'm Ravina Singh, a certified professional organizer and home management consultant. Hosting is one of the perks of homemaking. You get to set the stage, lay out a snack or a meal and enjoy the company. That's the plan, to relax and enjoy the company. If you're going to go on bustling in and out of the kitchen, that's not going to be relaxing, not for you and not for your guests. So my tip is to resort to platters. Consider these mini buffets. Set them up and everyone helps themselves while you get to lean back and admire your creativity. Platters can be any flat plate that can be used as a base. You can use a tray, a large plate, boards and such. They can also be wooden, glass, ceramic, anything will work. Just remember it has to be flat. No other rules apply. Now, in the past, I did upload some videos where my hosting prep has almost always included a platter of some sort. We can safely establish that charcuterie boards, grazing platters, smogger's boards are all just different types of platters. I completely believe that knowing how to put together a platter is a skill worth learning. So here are some ideas for quick platters you can do for guests or even for family. In one of the earlier videos, I had made this no-cook kidney bean hummus, which has never failed me. You can watch that video by clicking on the link below to get the recipe. And then lay it on a platter with crackers and crudite. Crudite are basically just raw vegetables with a dipping sauce or dressing. Now, this is a great low-fat munch board while you're lounging and watching TV. Generally, most platters are a variety of deli meat, cheeses, and some fruit. So let's also do one of those. I'm using a turntable for this platter. So first I'm going to add my cranberry compote and then some pumpkin spread. Then to that, add some cheeses. Soft and hard are both delectable. Cut some of the cheese so that the guests don't feel uncomfortable cutting into your masterpiece. Remember that the mains, like the meats, should be in single piles while the fillers need to be scattered in clusters. I'm adding some chorizo and some rolled ham in this one. I'm also adding bread, which I have toasted and buttered. You can cut this diagonally if you have a longer board, but this one is round, so discs are better. And then some crackers. Now all that's left to do is to fill the gaps with some fruit and top it with some nuts. If you have ever thought that this is where a platter ends and a dinner starts, then let me show you how to put together another platter. This is a tikka platter. We have naan and flatbread, or you can even use some chapatis. To begin plating, begin with the greens, any salad greens. This will add a very elegant canvas filled with vibrancy, peeking through the food. On the other side, add the flatbread. It's best to plate this just before serving, so the breads are soft and the hot dishes and cold garnish are still fresh. Chicken tikka. This is as beautiful as it is yummy. Paneer tikka will be a great alternative. Mint chutney is a must with this meal. Add the bowls, try not to overcrowd the board, but rather keep everything well spaced out. Crunchy vegetables such as cherry tomatoes, cabbage, bell peppers, and thinly sliced raw onions are a great accompaniment to any tikka or tandoori. I'm placing a scoop of mashed avocado alongside the tikka as they go great together. Using a medium ice scoop gives it a better finish. Once you have the leaves covered, it's time to fill the gaps. I'm also adding wedges of lime and then topping that off with some fresh coriander. I'm also adding some pistachios on for yet more crunch. You can also create a similar tortilla platter by adding salsa, sour cream, beans or chili, a mince and some bacon using the same style. Platters are also not just limited to food. They work just as well with drinks. So let's do a beverage platter. If you have a trolley, then go ahead and use that. But any flat tray will suffice. I will be using my trolley, so I'm going to remove everything from the top tier and then wipe it down. I'm arranging all the pieces from the top at the bottom. And I'm also adding an ice bucket. Add some flowers at the back to create a backdrop. 
For this, I suggest using clear bowls and glassware so you can appreciate the beautiful colors. I have three juices here. I'm going to transfer them into jugs and place those in center stage. To make it more stylish, I'm also adding some labels. These craft paper labels are easily available and to complete the label, I have used my label maker. Use some twine and thread it through the punched hole. Loop it and it's done. Just tie these to the jugs for some flair. Next are the drinking glasses. You can use any glasses, but stem glasses do look lovely. And I have added some charms at the bottom so everyone can recognize their drinking glass while mingling. Then in these clear bowls, I'm adding chopped fruit. I have soaked the apples in salted water to slow down the oxidation process. Of course, if you prefer, you can add a bottle of vodka to the ensemble. I have strawberries and oranges. Another garnish or option you can consider adding are mint leaves. The mild hint of the fragrance and the flavor is very pleasing. This is great for breakfast or brunch and equally delicious in the evenings. I hope that these videos are helpful to you, not just to give you ideas when you open your doors to friends and relatives, but also to enjoy well-presented meals with your family. Go beyond the cheese and deli charcuterie. Those are excellent too, but you can create your own personalized style. Fun fact, a well-presented meal is twice as appetizing and three times more likely to be complimented than the same food served in food containers. Let me know in the comments what platters you resort to for a quick fix. And until the next video, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking.